sin, but yield yourselves unto God. So to yield, again, that's an, it's a choice of our will. We either yield our, our body to sin and temptation, or we, we yield ourselves to righteousness and holiness. You know, if you might be driving uh, through Albuquerque and you stop at every red light. And, and uh, as you're uh, leaving the city limits, though, you run a red light. And you see uh, two red lights there. <laughs> you know, flashing behind you. And uh, it's a police car. And he pulls you over. And, and uh, he, he said, you ran a red light. And I said, and you say, open over, sir. Uh, I, I stopped at every other red light. <laughs> well, you get a take. Well, what? Well, officer, certainly you don't expect me to stop at every red light, do you? I mean, you know, I have a sin nature. And every now and then I'm bound to uh, run this red light. Well, that policeman's not going to accept your excuse, is it? No excuse to sin. You can stop at one red light, you can stop in them all. But if you got caught stealing, uh, try telling the policeman, well, you know, officer, normally I, I don't steal. <laughs> but most of the time, I'm more honest. And I suppose that's true of just about every day. You know, it's not like they're out stealing every day. Most of the time, they're honest. And probably with their friends and relatives, uh, they're probably honest. And uh, But what if uh, he gets before the judge and he says, well, judge, you know, I have a sin nature. And you don't really expect me never to steal, do you? You know, I'm bound to steal some of the time. Or, uh, or the, the married man says to his wife, well, you know, wife, I, I really do love you. And, uh, but I have a sin nature. And uh, every now and then that old man he just gets the best of me. That body of sin gets, you understand? Uh, you're number one, I love you. Well, the wife's not gonna buy that. So you make a commitment when you marry to forsake all others and cleave only to your wife, cleave only to your husband, and not to look at other women. That's your commitment, and you're able to do that. And you expect one another to do that. Well, marriage in the Bible is compared to our relationship with Christ. Oh, and so if we can be faithful to him some of the time, we can be faithful to him all the time. Yes. And if we sin, we commit spiritual adultery. And it's folly for us to say we love God when we're out continuing to rebel against him. Right. Continuing to do the things we know displeases him. We have to yield ourselves daily.